Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Hey guys, so this video is for the special lot of people who have started seeing my videos and probably they've never rooted and doing it for the first time and you guys are coming up with a lot of questions but before I tell you all that, the main reason for making this video is to follow an amazing guide which should give you the maximum battery out of your OnePlus 5T. Now the person who made this video, the name will be displayed on the screen, he has achieved around 12 hours of screen on time and I have been in touch with him on whatsapp and he has all the proof and people are really really liking it so i'm just going to follow all the steps and i will show you how it's done so just follow everything step by step and probably you will have same results and we are talking about screen on time alone of 12 hours so kudos to him a brilliant guide is what he's made on xdi i will leave the link in the description do follow his thread now before we begin all the flashing and backing up and random stuff that we usually do i would like to clarify a couple of things the first and foremost the very very important and the most repeated question that i'm seeing on my channel these days is which twrp should i be using for the oneplus 5t so we have the official twrp for oneplus 5t then we have one called as ide then we have blue spark twrp and then we have code words so to put it all to rest just go ahead and use the TWRP made or ported by Codeworks. Now there are three versions to it. One is universal, one is 8.0 and one is 8.1. Now I will clear that confusion for you guys as well. If you are on Nougat, go ahead and use the universal one. If you are on Oreo Beta, go ahead and use the 8.0 one. And if you're going to be using any custom ROMs which are based off Android 8.1, go ahead and use the 8.1 TWRP. So there are three different types of TWRP. In any case, the universal one should work for all the three case scenarios, but if you have any trouble, so use 8.0 for open beta, use 8.1 for custom ROMs, and if you're on Nougat, use the universal one. And for all my guides and everything that I've made about the 5T on this channel, all these three TWRPs will work. Now, the second most important question, I am on a stock ROM that is Oxygen OS 4.7.6 or the latest one and I am rooted with TWRP. Will I get OTAs? Will you get OTAs? Yes, you will. Will you be able to update using TWRP? No. In that case, what you need to do is just go to the website of OnePlus support. The link for that will be mentioned in the description. Download the full ROM, the latest full ROM, copy it to TWRP flash it like any zip file without erasing anything just reboot you're on the latest update you just have to root it again if you're using magisk just flash the magisk zip again and you're good to go so two most important questions answered which twrp and how do i update if i'm rooted using twrp so without further ado guys we are going to begin the battery saving guide we will need a few things link for everything is mentioned in the description once again hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials let's get the best battery on your oneplus 5t All right, guys, so first of all, let me tell you why this particular video makes some sense to me, at least is because I am running, as you might have guessed it, Android 8.0 on the latest update that is open beta one, whatever build that is, as you can clearly see there. So if we go ahead and have a look at today's battery backup that I got three hours and 31 minutes of screen on time four hours left i charged 12 hours 48 minutes ago so as i said um the guide that we're going to follow well probably that will give us 12 hours of screen on time instead of 12 hours of usage time and probably there's something wrong that i'm doing and hopefully that fixes for us so the first and foremost thing that we're going to do is that i'm going to request you is make sure you have some charge on your phone i do this all the time so i'm okay with doing it on 22 percent all right so for the next step what he has mentioned in the guide is we need to wipe everything using the stock recovery so first step obviously press the power button tap reboot tap recovery touch to reboot again 
Now this video might be long because there are a lot of things that I'm going to cover in this particular video. It, it may be more than 10 minutes. But then again, a lot of your doubts, a lot of information that you needed, you know, probably in the comment section, the questions that I've been asked, I'm going to cover them all and I've covered most of them at the beginning. So. All right, so we will choose English. All right, so wipe data and cache. It is everything, music, pics, etc. Now, before you do this, you will lose everything on your internal memory, your pictures, everything. So make sure you backed up everything because that's not gonna come back, never. So erase everything. This cannot be undone, continue. Okay, continue. All right. So that is that, we've wiped everything. Now let's tap done. Let's go back. All right, so in the next step, we need to flash TWRP and then once we boot into TWRP, we need to go ahead and flash 4.7.6. So I don't have TWRP and if you want to know how to flash TWRP, you can watch the video that is linked in the description that will save time for you as well as me. For now, we will go to advanced and we will go to fast boot, reboot and I will see you with TWRP in three, two, one. All right, there you have it, TWRP. So what we've quickly done is I have flashed the universal TWRP from Codeworks and I have also copied the full ROM 4.7.6 stable to the phone's internal memory. So to be safe, we're gonna wipe, that's, we're gonna do a normal factory reset which will not erase the internal memory. Remember the zip is in there. So we're gonna go to install, Select the 4.7.6 zip and let's flash it. It'll take about a couple of minutes to flash, so please be patient. All right, so the ROM is flashed. Now we are going to boot into the ROM, which will take about one or two minutes. It is pretty fast for OnePlus 5T. But remember, the moment you reach the home screen, don't tap anything, just go ahead and power the phone off. By home screen, I mean the welcome setup screen. Don't even select your language or anything. So let me just show you real quick what we are going to do. We don't want any installs. So this is the first boot basically. All right, so this is what I meant. We are on the setup screen right now. So you don't need to do anything. Don't tap anything. Just go ahead and power it off. So power off and power off. All right, now what we need to do next is we need to go ahead and we need to flash TWRP once because as we flashed a uh, stock ROM and obviously it booted, it would have overwritten the TWRP recovery. So to do that, we're gonna select power button and then volume up. So let's keep them pressed. There you go, you're in fast boot mode. So once again, I will be flashing universal TWRP recovery by Codeworks in three, two, one. All right, so we are in TWRP, but before we proceed, let me tell you one very important thing. Now, the moment you go ahead and flash TWRP, you don't have to boot into system. You directly have to boot into TWRP. So once again, what we did, we wiped everything from stock recovery and then we installed TWRP, we installed 4.7.6 table ROM, we booted, we reached the welcome screen, powered it off, flashed TWRP, and directly booted into TWRP. It's very, very important to do this because we are going to follow the guide. And now once booted up directly into TWRP, connect to your computer and you have to copy two files, Majisk version 15.2 and new kernel version 1.08. All right, so let the installation begin. All right, so it says first we're gonna flash Majisk. So let's flash this. All right, let's go back to the home screen, install and new kernel 1.08. Now once both of these are flashed, select this button, wipe cache in Dalvik and swipe. And after that, we're going to reboot system, do not install. Now again, it'll take three to four minutes because this is a fresh install. So we will wait for it to boot. We are almost towards the end of the guide. So what we're gonna do next, let me just give you a quick heads up. Well, you need to install all the apps that you need 
all the regular apps that you use in your day-to-day -day life and then you need to install Greenify, the one free version that is available on the Play Store. So now as you can see the phone has booted up. So let's quickly skip through the setup part. All right, so we are on the home screen. Majisk is there and let me just quickly check. It's always a good practice to go to about and check which kernel we are running. All right, so we are running new kernel and we are running Majisk. So then you just need to go to the Play Store, download all the apps that you need and you just need to go to Play Store again, install Greenify and just go ahead and Greenify the apps that you see on the screen or as per your preference, whatever apps you think would be draining battery, say like WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, mostly these social media or networking apps and there are other few apps as well which go ahead and uh, drain a lot of battery. Now I will refer a link to all the files that we use in this particular guide. At the same time the link to his thread would be there. Let me tell you his XDA ID. His name is Lucas and the ID is Lucas97. So the link for his thread is mentioned. There is a screenshot that is attached to which apps he had greenified when he got 12 hours of screen on time. And if you don't know how to greenify or how to use greenify, no problems. You can tell me, I will, if possible, guide you on comments or I will go and make another video about it. So there was the video guys, I will get back to you on this topic in one of my next videos as to this guide worked for me or not. I'm pretty sure it should because it's working for him every day and I will share my experience as well. You try this as well and enjoy amazing battery life. So if you like this video guys, do like, share and subscribe and as always before I go, the contest for the Xiaomi Redmi 5A is on. So remember, if the channel makes it to 4,000 subscribers, by the end of January, I'll be giving away a brand new Xiaomi Redmi 5A. Thank you for your time, guys. Goodbye.